Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I finally got home. Um, I put walking at the top of my list to do. In the law of attraction, you're supposed to have a list of things you want to do that day. I don't want to do it, but it is in my best interest to do it. So, um, I put walking at the top of the list. You know, two hours takes a big chunk out of your day. I go, wow. So, I'm walking around and I'm still thinking about, wow, what was wrong with me? I'm never sick. I think I know what was wrong with me. And any of you who really know me will know, yeah, that's what was wrong with you. One, I refused to go to my self-help group because I was sick of it. Well, it's kept me nice and healthy all these years, and that was not very smart. So I decided I better return to the flock. And it wasn't until after I made that decision that it occurred to me what was wrong with me. I'm pretty sure what was wrong with me was caffeine toxicity. You don't just recover after being violently ill. So basically, I guess you could say I poisoned myself. So, you know, this time when I withdraw, I'll be drinking a lot of water. So, after, so that was pretty stupid. That was damn stupid. I've been very resistant to giving up that habit. Uh, just like why I have to go to the self-help group. So after the walking, I went across the street to Dollar Tree because I needed dish detergent. Um, I, I get it there because you get 50 ounces. And I use a lot of dish, dish detergent because I uh, mix it with uh, one half cleaning vinegar and if you put that on your uh, you, you add equal parts and you rub that on your shower or bathtub then you can just wipe off the grime pretty much without scrubbing so that's why I went to um, Dollar Tree and then when I was there I saw they had Raisin Bran you know for uh, two dollars so I bought some Raisin Bran, because I need that for my diet. And then I saw they had this cereal for 25 cents, so I bought that. So about three fifty. dollars uh, If you remember, I was doing the Extreme Markdown and Frugal Year. And I think that has really helped me. So on the way home... I was going to drive by the 99 cent store where I get the markdowns and it's a good thing I did because I got two cans of beans. Uh, these expire pretty soon, but they'll be fine. Use before February 22nd. You know, they're fine for six months or so. And then I got another uh, salad. They're pretty good. This was 50 cents. Then I got three, three packages of cookies for 50 cents because I am suspending the diet for uh, four days. Normally when I diet, I diet uh, three days and I eat whatever I want uh, for um, four days so I don't torture myself. Plus, I don't really like a low-carb diet because, you know, it's deficient in carbs. That's why you lose weight. And then I got this bread for 50 cents. So that was $3.99. That was a lot of food. So guess what I'm having for lunch? I'm having a sandwich. That is what I really like. Um, I really, really don't like um, so many veggies, but it did work. And I have lost a few pounds. And in four days, I will go right back on it. And I will take this weight off. But no torturing. That's torture. So I will make myself a tasty little sandwich. And one of the things I did, and if you guys were following me, you know about this, is I packed my freezer full of lunch meat and cheese. 
And it's a good thing I did since my uh, Social Security was reduced by $125. So I bought this um, bologna and this cheese for about a dollar, and you know, my bread was 50 cents, and I buy the mayonnaise for a dollar, I think about it 99 cents only. I'm not going crazy because if I go crazy, that is going to prolong the diet. But I have the option to go crazy on the days I eat whatever I want, because on those days I'm not on a diet. So I'm really grateful to God that um, it occurred to me what I had done. Not everybody is so lucky. Uh, the last time I tried to go off caffeine, I had a seizure. So uh, I'll be sticking pretty close. There's a 19 hours half-life. So tomorrow at this time, I should be okay. But in the meantime, I will just stick close to the house. Boy, you don't know how good this bologna is going to taste with some bread <laughs> until you've been on a diet. Oh, my goodness. I never restrict uh, cheese and dairy, and the rationale behind that is babies live on milk. I knew a really old guy I met in the salon, and he would drink 10, 10 uh, glasses of milk per day. <laughs> I'm not sure where I bought this uh, milk. It, it breaks up a little because it was frozen, but that's okay. It'll taste very... I only put mayonnaise on one half of my bread. Yummy. You don't know how good this is going to taste until you've been on the low-carb diet. So by stockpiling some uh, lunch meat and cheese, that's really going to protect you. So now the only question is, do I want chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal? I bought two oatmeal because oatmeal is kind of hard to find. So it has been decided that I want, even at a dollar, these are a good deal. Look. And uh, I will eat as many um, chocolate chip cookies as I want because I have declared today a free day. So the markdown shopping and the stockpiling is really, really going to help. And I have salad stuff, you know, that I bought. This is unbelievable cheap for 50 cents. Um, the thing to do is, is save back a little money and then swing by these places when you're driving by anyway. And uh, let's see, I think that's about it, you guys. Thanks for all the prayers when I was sick, and God bless you all.